Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Claudia K, aka The It Girl and I film lifestyle, beauty, and fashion vlogs. So as you can tell by this title, we'll just be doing a girl talk, my first girl talk on my channel and I'm super excited. I'll just be telling you guys about how to practice wellness in 2024 as well as protect your peace in 2024. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn my post notifications on and let's get right into it. <laughs> So it's 2024, a new year, and I have turned a new leaf. I've been bettering myself. My life has really been peaceful um, ever since I've, you know, turned, run, uh, turned a new leaf. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys the same advice as well because I know, like, Things could get hectic with college and friends and relationships and everything and jobs. And it's like, I want to share with you guys how I practice wellness and how I protect my peace. So first thing I want to say is that what works for me may not work for you. Um, it may be different for everyone. But honestly, I feel like what I do is what a lot of other people do. And I've seen it work for others and I don't see why it wouldn't work for you. The reason why I've been at so at peace lately is because of how close I've gotten with God. I used to go to church when I was younger all the time, but I just like when I would go to church and just be like oh like why am i here like i want to go home like it's cold you know things like that i have to wear a dress whatever the case may be and i didn't really understand the purpose or like the meaning of church or who god was last year is when i really started to get closer with god like after the summertime um before the summertime i was like you know i was aware i was like you know still praying but i was like giving lukewarm christian i've been getting deeper in my faith ever since i started sophomore year honestly if i'm being honest god has changed my life in ways i cannot even explain um he's always been present in my life but i i never really like i never really went to him first or put him in the center of my life after summer 2023 i've just been putting him in the center of my life and my relationship in the center of my schooling everything last semester was a very good semester for me um i was able to get my gpa up to a 3.0 or 3.1 um and i don't know if you guys remember my gpa was a 2.4 um before so i'm just so grateful for that i can only think that progress i can only thank god for that because i prayed about you know i prayed about it like hey like i'm i'm a procrastinator I, I get lazy i get scared you know like college is hard college is hard and it's easier to just not try so i went to god i talked to god on my pro i went to god and i i gave i put my problems into his hands and all of all of last semester he just guided me through school i've never been so focused and so locked in with school before then i like my first time was last semester college and that's all thanks to god it's important that you have god in your life because the whole reason why we're here is because of him like no matter what we say no matter no matter what they say no matter what theories say we're here because of god god said let there be light and that's how the earth came to be of course like you know there's other theories you know especially with science like we're told like nursing exercise majors whatever the case may be physics and assistants we're told that you know the big bang theory da, 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 but we obviously know that's not true we know it's god that made everything come come to life we're walking on this earth with a spirit within us and that is like the spirit of god you know within us and the physical part of us is just the flesh it's you know and that's the flesh is what is is the center part of us so it's like it's important that you tap into your spiritual self like before and it's like people i, I feel like people always say oh like you know i'm gonna have fun now fun now and then like when it's time to like you know settle down or whatever then i'm gonna go reach out to christ but it's like that's not how it works you can't sin all your life and and try to reach out to christ like you have to reach out to christ now especially how the world is the world is very evil it's a lot of negativity it's a lot of killing each other it's a lot of nasty bad stuff i feel like finding god having god in your life is the best secret weapon you can have like if anyone was to ever ask me like oh my god like what's your secret god is my secret and that's not even a secret you know over the summer i started going to um a church my boyfriend went to and it was really good like i really liked it i really enjoyed the pastor before it was like i have to go to church 
but now when I go to church it's like I actually want to go like I actually want to hear what the pastor has to say I actually want to hear because that's the thing God is always sending messages a lot of people they say okay I'm at peace I'm happy with life whatever whatever but it's like until you have God in your life until you put God in the center of your life you'll never truly be at peace without God it's easier for the devil to get to you it's easier for him to attack you it's easier and the devil will always attack that's the thing the devil will always attack especially when you're doing good but it's like when God is not in your life it's easier to fall to temptations it's easier to you know um sin there's a lot of things that can be a sin it could be blasphemy or idolatry idolizing celebrities it could be being drunk like all the time and that's one thing I'll definitely say like I know some people watching this video or probably like know me from high school and whatever the case may be and high school I was wild like I was wild I'm gonna sit down I'm not gonna lie I was wild like I was always having parties always throwing back shots like it was it was crazy and it's like summer 2023 was the last summer I really drank on some crazy ish like you know even new year's even new year's i really didn't drink like i had like one cup i i couldn't even take it down like you know i couldn't even take it down because it's like when god said he doesn't like drunkenness he's being serious like you shouldn't be drunk to the point where you're like unconscious you're throwing up and like that's kind of how like when i would get drunk that's how it would be and it's easier for you know demons and evil spirits to get through you or to you when you're in that mind space because you're so drunk and you're just so vulnerable another thing i definitely want to add is that it's not just like going to church because a lot of people think you have to go to church in order to be considered a christian this is not the case like yes going to church is always good so you can like be around other people that do believe in god and like be around people in your community but the most important thing is to read the bible before i never read the bible i'd read like i'd see like little verses and excerpts and stuff but i would truly never understand like you know when you're in church and they put like verses like up on the tv and it's like you know they say that like when i was younger i thought they were speaking another language like i had no idea what they was talking about ever since i got this app it's called bible you version i I read the Bible, I do plans, I even show you guys I have like a widget of like a verse of the day every day. But I feel like reading the Bible is also very, very, very beneficial. I've done like a couple plans. I have like three plans that I'm doing right now. And then I have two that I've completed. If you want to get closer with God, like my best advice for you is to read the Bible because God gives you messages through those those quotes. And it's like you'll realize that a lot of what he says in the bible a lot of what god or jesus says in the bible is very much appli like applicable in today's society and i feel like that's also why i feel like the end is very near because it's a lot of the stuff in the bible that god like is does not agree with is literally what we do now like times 10. you gotta get close to god because we don't know when the end is it's already 2024. I'm, i mean i'm gonna say this i'm not baptized i definitely have to get baptized and i know they say that um like when the rapture comes and stuff um like they're gonna like god is gonna look for those who are baptized i i don't know if like that's 100 percent true because then i hear that like as long as you are good or you like you like you seek him out like in your lifetime he'll also like be like okay you're chosen to come to heaven the bible is the easiest way for god to communicate to you like is a hundred percent like i've i've read the bible and it's like oh my god like this is crazy this is literally what i do and i need to change it i've been reading a lot about forgiveness and moving on and it was one thing that said oh my god it was one thing in the bible that said if you can't forgive other people for their sins god cannot will not forgive you for your sins and that's something i'm working on now because sometimes not even sometimes but there's situations in my life where there was situations in my life where i was very hurt and you know people hurt me and i just didn't understand why they did that to me but it's like you have to forgive them because it's like you know I, there's no reason to hold on to a grudge especially when god is in your life and god makes everything happen in your life for a reason getting close to god is teaching me a lot about myself as well and that's like something that is very like i'm gonna definitely say when you get closer to god you start to realize a lot about yourself and i realize that i sometimes it's very hard for me to let go of things that hurt me it's very hard because it's like that happened to me it hurt me why did they do that everything that god says in the bible is for your own good not none of the things that he believes in is 
will ever get you in trouble it's it's all for your own good and that's why it's important for him to be in your life if you want to be at peace if you want to be well okay i'm gonna read this quote that i screenshotted so it's galatians 5 it's 5 verse 19 to 23 so it says when you follow the desires of your sinful nature the results are very clear sexual immor immorality impurity lustful pleasures idolatry sorcery hostility quarreling jealousy outbursts of anger selfish ambition decession division envy drunkenness wild parties and other sins like these let me tell you again as i have before that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of god i'm not gonna sit here and say i'm perfect a lot of the things he's named and he named in here is the life i was living uh of two years ago you know and that's why it's very important that you read the bible because it will it will literally like shine a light on you like yes this is your flaws and th this is this is what you need to fix and also like the thing with god and like christianity and stuff you have to be willing to take constructive criticism you have to be willing to accept the fact that you are a sinner we're all sinners we all sin and that's it's not okay but it's fixable and it's important that you fix it when you are young and when you are more adaptable to this because why would you wait to fix yourself when you're 30 40 years old when you can fix yourself now and it's like it's best to fix yourself now because it's like this is before we have kids before we're married and all this stuff and i feel like that's also a big reason as to why marriages don't work or families be so broken because it's like they don't have god in the center of it and that's like so important from verse 22 to 9 to 23 it says but the holy spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control there is no law against these and this is so true because everything that god wants us to do everything all his morals everything his values there's no law against it there's a law against um killing people and that's a sin you know there's laws against drugs that's a sin there's laws against um fighting that's a sin you know so it's it's very important that you know you you also look within yourself you know i feel like like following god going on that path going on your spiritual journey with the lord is gonna tell you a lot about yourself and i feel like that's also just the hard part of it if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself you know what maybe i'm gonna you know do that maybe i'm gonna start following christ and read the bible and this and that i'm gonna tell you now it's not easy it's not easy there's a lot of nights you will cry there's a lot of nights you'll be confused there's a lot of nights you'll be hurt it's a lot of times it's situations that are meant to help you grow following christ or following god you're not gonna not grow like you you have to know that you will change you will go through you will see the ugliest part of you and you will see the best parts of you as well it's very important that when you are following god you have to represent him well as well and that's another thing i'm also working on the last time i was at church i heard like the pastor say like you know it's important that you represent god like you represent his values and his ways and it's like basically what they're saying is you can't be a christian and say you believe in god but then you're fighting people you're drunk on instagram or you're you're you know like you're just doing you're doing sinful things like you have to represent him well you have to treat people with kindness you have to be patient you have to be peaceful and i'm 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 not saying i'm all of these okay i'm not saying i'm all of these and that's why we're working together to become better it's important that you know when you are following christ that you are it, like you're exemplifying him as well a lot of people think that with god he's just some magician he's just gonna poof make everything happen for you you ask him for something you pray hey can you please get me this chanel bag that's not how it works god doesn't like worldly things and worldly things are like social media bags um your physical your actual physical appearance like materialistic stuff like that those are worldly things so don't sit down and be like god can i please get a bag like can you give me this no like that's not how it works like you you can't just ask him for worldly things because he doesn't believe in worldly things so when you're following christ you got to ask him for peace you got to ask him for love you got to ask him for um trust you got to ask him for forgiveness you know things like that and that's another thing i definitely want to add and i feel like this 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 gonna take a little turn during quarantine 2020 is when like a lot of the law of attraction manifestation crystals all of that came out and if you if you knew me you knew i had all crystals i had amethyst i had carnelian i have a carnelian right now 
this is my carnelian i stopped wearing it because i'm a child of god but yes um and i have other crystals celentine this and that and that was the time where it was very popular to be manifesting and writing down 369 method all of that and i want to say this now if you are someone that believes in that or someone that is doing that i'm gonna ask you now to stop okay and now let me tell you why what people don't know about law of attraction and manifestation is that you're basically trying to conjure up a the life that you want but not in god's image and not with god in the center of it and the quote i just read you guys when they said sorcery manifestation is kind of in a way like sorcery like i remember when i used to do it heavily like i used to do it all the time like people used to call me a witch like they used to be like you're a witch like and honestly i used to like kiki key but that's not funny that's actually not good like that's not good like you know and i stopped doing it i stopped doing it and i just like like i just go to the lord about things but it's like even with manifestation you realize a lot of the things that you manifest are worldly things you know and that's also why idolatry is a sin because if you realize or if you like keep up with social media a lot of celebrities use the word manifest a lot of celebrities say that they manifested the life that they have whatever the case may be and also another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of celebrities are accused or thought of selling their souls and the contract that the devil makes when you sell your soul is you cannot talk about god at all and there's a reason why celebrities sell their soul because the devil knows that we're sinners the devil knows that we 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 idolize people even though it's a sin so it's easier for the devil to get in our minds through the celebrities that that are you know on our phones on social media on so the shade room on tiktok it's easier for the devil to get through to us through them because they have sold their soul and they don't ever talk about god ever talk about god they're put here for a reason they're put here for a reason they're put here to stray us farther away from god because for example if you if kim kardashian's like oh i manifested this life now you're gonna be like okay let me go manifest too because it's kim kardashian look at the family they're successful but it's like what you have to understand is that manifestation is not of god and that's not something you should be doing and i'm if i'm telling you this i'm being for real like i was head manifester like i was on it heavy like if if even when people would tell me that's 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 a sin whatever i'd be like no i don't care it's not you know it's not but it is and that's why i'm gonna tell y'all now put that book down stop writing stop writing three six nine times and and get on your knees and pray to the lord so amen i'm in the middle of editing and i just want to add one more thing you can manifest through the image of god through god like you can manifest but it's when you're doing like law of attraction that's considered sorcery so another way to protect your peace or to like practice wellness um is the people you surround yourself so it's very important that you surround yourself with people that also believe in god um if you're around people that don't believe in god or are lukewarm christians whatever the case may be they're gonna drag you down with them especially if you have friends that party a lot they're always drinking always smoking always all this stuff like if you have friends that are constantly doing that they don't believe in god all of this that will only make your life worse if you're around people that are constantly in drama that you that's a red flag like you should not be around like don't, you've got to stay away from those type of people because there's a reason why their life is always going awry because god is not in their life there's a reason why it's always drama 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 because god is not in their life and that is why you have to stay far far away from those people because they will bring you down with you they will bring you down with them surrounding yourself with people that love you with people that speak goodness in you people that speak positivity in within you like that is very important to surround yourself with good people that also follow christ and believe in god be friends with people that support you as well because that's another thing when you're friends with people that you low-key don't like but you're gonna keep them around because you don't want to be alone but you know they're weird no the, the 2024 is when we stop doing that if you don't have a if your friend is not supportive she's weird she's fake he's weird he's fake he's not you know he's not a believer he's this and that he's a sinner whatever he's sitting too much because we're all sinners but like there's there's a difference like you know like we're yes we're all sinners but then there's some sinners that that is the devil's favorite going back to like two years ago like when i was in high school i have friends like you know it always be like you know okay we outside like you know we smoke it we drink it whatever the case may be and that's cool for when you're young but it's like when you start to get older and like you know because i'm about to i'm 19 right now but i'm about to be 20 in a month so it's like when you start to get older you start to realize 
I don't got time to be smoking and doing all this and partying and being in, the, in this and that and that and being mixy. I don't got time for that because I got I got things I want to do. I got a YouTube channel that I need to blow up. I got I got I got sub subscribers that I need to gain. I got a degree. I got I got two degrees I need to get. For me, so it's like that is why it's very important that you surround yourself with people that also are go-getters. You surround yourself with people that are going to motivate you. Because if you're surrounded by people that don't motivate you, that don't have nothing going on, you will also adapt that and you don't want that. That's the last thing you want. Who you keep around you is a reflection of who you are. And when they say that, they did not lie. And I, I'm going to say this. I'm not going to lie. I was, I'm, those, I'm those type of people where whoever I'm friends with, I like, I kind of like reflect them. Like, you know, like if the person, like, like, you know, like, I kind of become like the people I'm friends with and that's not a good trait and that's also something I'm working on and as I said I'm not coming here saying I'm perfect none of us are perfect and I'm also learning because I am 19 gonna turn 20 okay don't be friends with people that make you feel bad for believing in God or following Christ or you know being a godly person or not sinning a lot of people think living a godly life is boring or it's not fun or it's whatever that everyone has they 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 opinions or whatever the case may be and that's what the devil wants you to think the devil wants you to think that following christ is boring or it's not fun because he wants you to sin and that's the thing when you think about sinning sinning is fun Sinning is so fun but it's like believing in god is also fun like you could believe you can have fun but do it in a way that you're not disrespecting the Lord. You know, you're not, you know, going against his values, you know? And it's important that you have friends that also understand that as well. And I know what you're probably thinking, girl, you're in college, like, what are you talking about? Like, you gotta have fun. You can have fun in college. You can have fun in college. You don't have to be drunk every weekend to be having fun. And another example of friends is also relationships. Um, It's important that who you're laying with in bed at night is good to you is a godly man or woman it's important that whoever you are laying in bed at night is also someone that you can be like okay this is someone that i know is gonna lead me to the right path is this is someone that is gonna tell me the truth someone that's gonna that wants to see me do good because that's a, that's the thing with a, what a lot of people don't understand a lot of people don't want to see you do good a lot of people want you to stay in the same position that they're in because they don't want to see you do better and that's when you got to get up out of there and leave that environment the world is so big there's so many people and i seen someone that said a lot of the people that are on this earth are here to show you what could happen to you if you don't grow or if you stay stagnant a lot of people are on this earth to show you why you need to believe in christ why you need to follow christ another way to practice um wellness and and peace is exercising okay exercising and i last year i was exercising way more than i am this semester but the semester just started and it started off a little rocky for me exercising and also just drinking water which kind of coincides with exercising because if you don't drink water when you exercise you will pass out but it's important that you take care of your body because your body is your temple like you know if you're filling your body with alcohol and 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 junk food and and fast food all the time you're not eating healthy you're not drinking enough water if you do that you will start to feel nasty you start to feel depressed like your body will start to feel depressed and then your mind will start to feel depressed there is blood vessels that go up to your brain if you're not taking care of it down here up here won't be good either all right so that's why it's important that you eat that you exercise and all of that because it'll keep you like it'll keep your blood pumping it'll keep you moving it'll keep you feeling good you know and everyone always says like you ever y'all ever be on twitter that's like damn like exercising does make me feel good eating healthy does make you feel good those people aren't lying it's true and that's the thing everything that everything good is always hard everything good always takes work school a degree relationships good friendships um exercising everything that's good for you is never easy it's never easy but if you start now it'll get easier by the time you're you're at a point where it's like you're more mature one way that i keep myself grounded or calm sometimes that i i i started doing again i stopped doing like i stopped doing it like three two three years ago it's meditation okay um a lot of times when you think of meditation you think hippie you think zen you think what but meditation is that girl like i'm gonna say that meditation is that girl and this is coming from someone that you know over the past few years i had a lot of anger issues you know so when i meditate and stuff like when i sit down and breathe in breathe out that like that 
helps tremendously like and that will literally stop you from making so many bad decisions when you just breathe in and breathe out because a lot of the times it's like the anger or your sadness or the depression it seems big in the moment but it's truly not that big and it's like that's why it's just so important or it's so beneficial that you meditate because meditation is like it's a great way to ground you. It's a great way to calm you down. And that's the thing. You don't need to meditate for hours or days. You can meditate for like five to ten minutes. Anytime they say, breathe in, breathe out. They're not lying. They're not lying. These are exercises that we've been taught to do since we were younger. And they taught us to do this for a reason. When I meditate, I like to listen to like vibrations and stuff. And I don't know if y'all know who Andre 3000 is. Y'all probably know who he is. He made a song with Childish Gambino. No matter what you say or what you do. Wait, is it that one? I think it was Redbone. Dun, 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 dun. He came out with an album and everyone thought it was going to be like a rap album or whatever. But it was literally just like hours of him playing the flute. If you meditate with some calm music or like vibrations is another thing that I, I used to meditate and sleep to. It'll make you feel so much better. If not meditation, praying. Praying, oh my God, guys. Praying is so, 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 so important. Just like I said that reading the Bible is a way that God can communicate with you, praying is also a way that you could communicate with God and God communi can communicate with you as well. Praying is good for the soul. When you pray, you're talking to God, you're laying all your problems out to Him, you're putting all your problems to Him, or you're also just thanking Him, or you're asking Him to help you, or you're asking Him to forgive you for your sins. But when you pray, after you pray, you feel better. Don't pray, don't go to Him and pray when only when things are going bad. Pray to Him when things are going good and they're going bad or sometimes when you just want to tell him about your day and there's also a verse in the bible that tells you a good way to pray god don't he don't need you to babble on god heard you the first time that's the only time you need to pray it okay you don't have to go on and on and on and on about it you god heard you the first time god knows your desires god knows your heart god is with you at all times so he knows exactly what you need and what you desire so you don't have to repeat to him multiple times hey like you know like i don't know if you heard my prayer last time but no he heard you he heard you now is the time to be patient so this is the quote i'm probably gonna drop the picture like right here but it says pray like this our father in heaven may your name be kept holy may your kingdom soon come or come soon may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us and don't let us yield to temptation but rescue from the evil one so last thing to help or better your your wellness and your peace is to be very selective with what you consume on social media as an influencer as an upcoming influencer as a youtuber I'm on social media a lot because, you know, I'm on I'm on different platforms to promote my videos and whatnot. Last week or two weeks ago, I deleted Twitter because I just felt like anytime I went on there, it was very negative. Very, It's a very negative vibe on there. It's very, it's always negative. And, and that's the thing. It's a whole bunch of people tweeting out their opinions that are either, bi either biased, they're projecting, speaking out of hurt. And that's why I say in order for you to be p at peace and in order for you to be well, it's important that you take social media with a grain of salt. Social media gives a platform for people who truly don't know what they're talking about to talk, you know? For example, like the Shade Room or that guy who, I don't remember his name, or like Academics, if y'all know who Academics is. It gives a platform for a lot of people to have a big platform and nine times out of ten, they don't know what they're talking about. They're not, they're not factual or they're talking based off of their own experiences. But that's why I say it's very important that you take social media with a grain of salt because you stay on social media too long, it'll make you very, very sad or depressed or anxious. Social media is an illusion. Social media will say you need to have a car by 20. 20 or 19 or 18 16 they'll say you have to have a job by 15 you need to be rich by 21 you need and they, they have all these expectations and stuff and they have a whole bunch of different guys with money and girls with money it's poison to the mind there's a reason why all of the your idols are on social media because the devil knows we're consuming social media so it's easier to 
spew negativity into us through social media because it seems harmless oh it's just an app like it's just an app it's not just an app it's not and i know it's like mm, girl you saying social media is toxic and you do social media yes i do and that's because i am the influencer i'm not the influenced all right y'all my camera overheated but we're gonna get right back to the point as i was saying i am the influencer not the influenced so i'm not really too concerned about myself because I'm learning how to navigate through social media and I'm learning that social media is an illusion. But I'm more so worried about people who um, consume social media like innocently and don't realize that they're addicted to it or don't realize how like much of an impact it's having on you. If you're depressed, I don't think you should be scrolling on social media. I feel like maybe TikTok, but even then, mm, like, you know, pick up a book, read something, watch like your favorite YouTuber, you know, watch me, you know, like, like listen to music, draw. Do something else, but like scrolling through social media all the time 24 7 is so bad for your mind, you know? Especially when you're the influence, because there's nothing wrong with being the influence. There's great influencers out there that care for their, their supporters, care for their subscribers, care for their audience. But then there's people out there that don't care, that's only doing it for the check, only cares about the check, and don't care about actually putting their subscribers or their supporters on. And that's what I'm trying to do. There's people on social media that are, un are unhappy. There's people on social media that are lying. Like, like, like you know when they be like, um, I be like DTB on social on Twitter, but then like in the messages I be like, oh my God, like love me or whatever. Or like in the messages I'm like Mar Mariah the Scientist. Bro, those people don't be lying. Like people get on social media, they cap, but it be a whole different thing in the real life. You go on someone's page, they look like they have so much money. They look like they so up. You see them in real life that's not the case like social media is an illusion it's literally fake it's a lie it is is fabricated people only put the good parts of their life on social media there's not a lot of people that put the raw real truth on social media and that be the bad thing about it because people don't realize that social media isn't life all the time you're not always gonna be happy you're not always gonna be having fun or like around so many people it's not it's not always gonna be like that social media isn't it's not like that every day don't worry about what they're posting you need to worry about what they're not posting don't look at someone and be like i want this person's life because you truly don't know what that person's life is social media or even youtube we edit what we want y'all to see we are like like as a youtuber we sit down, we pick what clips are going in our videos and what are not. Try to fill your feed up with positivity. Try to fill your feed with like influencers that benefit you or influencers that are going to put you on to like God and how to, you know, be healthier in mind, physically, emotionally, all of that, you know? One more part I'm going to make before I close out this video is be careful what you say. Be careful what you speak out loud because the tongue is very, very, very powerful. So if you want to leave, live a peaceful life or like have wellness, don't talk down at your, on yourself. Like don't be like, oh my God, I'm so ugly. Oh, like I'm so fat or I'm so depressed or I suck or, or, or I'm dead. What you say could very much become your reality. You gotta speak positivity in yourself. And that's why I also said you gotta surround yourself with friends or relationships that also speak positivity to you. Cause if you're surrounded by people that are constantly speaking negativity to you, that's how you're gonna start to feel. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta, you know, be positive for yourself. You know, cause I, I, I was very much the person that, like, you know, I, I used to say anything about myself. I'm so fat. I'm so ugly. Like I suck. Da 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 da. And it's like you start to genuinely believe that. Like you start to genuinely believe that. But when you start to say, I'm pretty. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I'm hardworking. I like. I, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be successful. I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna like. You know, God loves me. I love God. When you start, when you start to speak that stuff every day, you start to believe it, and then you're vibrations start to get higher i'm gonna close out this video i really really hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys took something out of what i said um and i hope you guys also share this to someone that may need to hear it so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe turn my post notifications on and i'm gonna see you guys next video bye Collecting the paper, I ain't picking up waste. I don't game bang with this book on my waist. Rap shit stick like I'm holding up tape. Cash it for mail, let's have a debate. Five star shit, I'ma top any rate. Up last seven, now we going up eight when I roll up the yums. No, it's a face, I got faith to be God, I'll be patient and wait. Cause 